Hi everyone and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. We are going to do a walkthrough of my studio space today. And my studio is in our home. It is our spare bedroom and we're just going to walk through the door. And this is the sign that I put up on my studio when I'm recording so that my husband doesn't come barging in. So we're going to go ahead and open up the door. And welcome to my studio space. So we're going to start on this side. I'm just going to do a quick tour around and come into the space. These are two of the trolleys that I purchased from Ikea. One is for my shipping department and the other is my cutting stool and it has some storage space on the shelves and it replaced a very wobbly stand that I had there earlier. And I have a large window so I have some great light there. And I'll just let it focus. So this little area here is my desk area, my office area if you will. The little table I received from my little sister. We did a swap and she gave me the table and I can't remember what I gave her. Um, I've covered the top with some of the wallpaper that I've used on the bookshelves. And this little table has a little latch underneath and I can pull it and it will flip up on its side and I can push it out of the way. So that is my little office space. And then on this far wall here are the three bookshelves that I purchased from Ikea. I've covered the back panel in wallpaper. This is a peel and stick wallpaper. I think I just got it at a local hardware store. It was very expensive, but it was worth it. I bought two rolls and I was able to cover all three back panels of those three bookshelves and the desktop and I have some scraps left over. On the top of my bookshelves, I have some little bits and pieces. On the far left hand side is a little tiny house that I built out of some driftwood. Um, a couple of years ago, I used to paint driftwood and make little driftwood villages. The sign in the middle is my logo, which my niece Sammy made for me. Um, and it's a nice piece of pine that she's painted or put the logo on and I've just distressed a little bit. And that will go to, with me to some of my shows. And I'm just going to do a quick tour and then I'll come back to some of the storage that I use. In the far corner there is my little cart filled with all my material and scraps. Um, I'm going to be putting that in the closet, but I still haven't cleaned out the closet yet. So these double doors lead into a closet space that has a whole bunch of my supplies in it. On this little wall where we came in, that's the door where we entered. This is another bookshelf that we have, that I have, not we have. Um, and I covered the back panels with some tissue paper and I just decoupaged it on there. It was a little wrinkly, but it turned out really well um, because I didn't have enough of the wallpaper. And then on the top there I have, this is a little paper mache cow. I used to work in an office at a dairy. And one of the artists, when I worked at the Southampton Art School as a director, one of the artists made paper mache cows. So I purchased one of her cows to remind me of my time at the dairy. So that's another set of bookshelves that I purchased from Ikea. And then behind the door, I have my calendar and then my large cutting mats. There's actually two there and I've just used those little 3M hooks and attached them to the wall, which is great. And I drilled a couple little holes in my mat um, so that I could hang them because whenever I put them somewhere, they fall over. So that was a perfect spot for them. And then on this wall where we came in, I have my long shelf. My father helped me build this bookshelf. It's three little bookcases and we've nailed them together. Oh, I think about 10 years now I've had this and he created the top out of pine and stained it for me. So I have a TV here, my printer, and um, my little carousel with all my little bits and bobs. And then my inspiration board is hanging there to the left of the window. So this bookshelf here holds all of my books that I've purchased. So those are all my Edith Holden books and bird books and botanical books. And then on the second shelf is a whole bunch of different papers that I use in my journals. On the bottom in the middle there is my scrap bin, which again is full. Um, in the middle is vellum and file folders and line papers and ledger paper and different little notebooks that I use inside of my journals. And then in the third 
bookshelf is all my game cards and photocopy paper and the middle shelf is all my card stock that I use for making postcards and stuff like that. On this trolley, as I said, this is my little shipping department. And then it has two little shelves underneath. And one is, the bottom one is projects that I'm working on. And then the second one has some of my invoices and that's some of my shipping materials to the left of the basket there. On this one is my film carousel with all my business cards. And the basket underneath there is my laces and trims. And again, this is my cutting area so that when I cut something, um, all the scraps go off to the right and then I just swoosh them off into the little basket there um, that's on the floor and that's my scrap bin. That's my recycle bin that goes in the garbage. So I'm going to take you over to these shelves, my little workspace here. And I've covered the front of my little tray there with some of the wallpaper. See if I can get in there and show you it. So there's some of the scraps of wallpaper. These little um, wire pig doll ladies I used to make for my granddaughters. They were fun. I actually have a whole bunch of supplies left, um, but they were a lot of fun to make. So on the first bookshelf, I have my embroidery floss and I believe there's some tapes and stuff in that basket. Some of my elastics um, for my journals are in the baskets. I purchased these little plastic drawers from Canadian Tire. They're regularly $19.99 and I got them for $11.99. So I purchased four of them and they hold all my little bits and pieces. And then this one has some glues and tapes in it as well. And then some of the lower shelves I've just used to hold my die cutting machines and my die cuts, my cinches. And on the very, very bottom row, I have some magazines. Um, I have binders, some more of my art books. This little drawer has um, Ziploc bags and some little bits and pieces that I'm using. This little tray used, or shelves used to sit on my workbench and these were all my Edith Holden bits and pieces when I was making my Edith Holden note, note card journals. And there's another one of those little pig dolls that I make with flowers. And there's my Rolodex and stuff. And then up on top I just have some of my favorite things up there. Those little sculptures are actually, I can't remember the lady's name, but I purchased those because those are all the characters that my kids have dressed up for Halloween over the years. <laughs> so they just remind me of my kids. Um, this little peg doll ballerina I made for some ornaments for a fundraiser for our art school. My glues, some tags. I believe these have, this basket has, that's my elastic, so they almost have my some of my other stuff in it. This one has all my punches and my stamps and my ink pads. And then below it, I have all my older little drawers and these have buttons and ball pins and paper clips and that type of thing. And some more tools and some more magazines. So we're gonna switch over. Again, this is my material and projects that I'm working on. And it's just all piled up there in the corner because I haven't sorted through that yet. And then over on this shelf, I have purchased these little tiny cloth baskets from the dollar store and there's five of them and then in each one and then on the top there I have a basket and it has all my napkins and my tissue paper and the other one has old uh, magazines um, from the 1940s I believe some older receipts and stuff like that that I've scanned and I just put the masters up there and the first couple of shelves here are my products that I have for sale. I'm going to be redoing the fronts of these Reader Di Reader's Digest books with some more um, collage on the front. But these are all my products that I create. This shelf here, there's actually an acrylic shelf. Uh, it's a three-tiered shelf. It's a tray that I purchased from a store that was closing in Florida. And it was only $5. I wish I had bought a couple of them, but we didn't have room in our car. And they fit all of my journals perfectly. And this shelf is my, well, these are all my monthly box that I get each month from your creative studio. And they're empty, but I put all of my little bits and pieces in there. I have to buy a couple more of those plastic drawers so that I can put some of the stuff in there. Those are all my vintage diaries and things that I brought back from Florida. And then the bottom shelf is all of my envelopes and stuff that I use for my journals. And then when you come in in the center of the room, 
I have my work table. Now this table was a lot bigger. I had another top on it and it was a lot wider and a lot longer and I had to take it off because I just could not fit it in the space. Again, this room is probably 11 by 14, 12 maybe, so it's a small room. So what I've done on the end of this work table, I put some pegboard and it holds my ribbons, rulers and my mat, cu mat um, cutters. And then this little cube shall fit perfectly underneath and that holds all my scrapbooking paper. And I keep a glass top on my work surface so that I can scrape off any glues or anything that um, comes on. And I decoupage the top with that same tissue paper that I put in the bookshelf uh, um, behind me here. And then on this side of the table, I have my scoreboards and my punch boards and stuff like that again on a pegboard and then I do have on the other side of this table another tiny little bookshelf that is pushed underneath my workbench and this holds some of my more of my scrapbooking paper and these are some of the journals and stuff that I've used that have my ideas in them and then just some of my paperwork and stuff like that so I try and use every surface that I can I've got hooks on there to hold some of my important things and then just putting the pegboard on the end of the table really helps to keep my scoreboard and my punch boards handy when I'm using them and then just on the top of my table here I keep my lazy Susan this actually turns as well as this is a pampered shift utensil holder I believe and they do no longer make this this type um, but this holds all my bits and pieces that I use quite a bit of when I'm creating. Um, I'm always grabbing things out of this tray. So this is very handy to have on my work surface. And then back over here is um, another carousel type thing. And these are Tetley tea tins that I've just covered in paper and put a label on them. And this just holds all more of my bits and pieces. So my tabs that I punch, some strings, my inks. Um, some words that I have, reinforcement holes, my cables for my phone and my iPad, and then my three inch paper clips. So these again are handy if I need any of the little small stuff. These are some of the little bowls that I've painted um, quite a few years ago. I used to buy wooden bowls and paint them out. So I have quite a few of those. And then also, <laughs> I'm just going to show you this little guy. My daughter, who is now 37 years old, made this when she was about five years old. Um, it's supposed to be Shakespeare <laughs> and I've had this in my studio for I don't know how long and it's just something she made out of clay again in your in my workspace I keep things that make me happy so I try and keep anything that when you walk into your room makes you feel creative or happy um, and these are little bits and pieces that I found on the beach that are all heart shaped or look heart shaped to me it looks like lips but um, these are all the heart-shaped rocks and stones that we found when we were out walking on the beach. And I just put it in my little bowl there. That's my heart bowl. So that's basically the tour of my studio. Um, when I get my closet organized, I will show you all the bins that I have in my closet. But as of today, I'm just going to stop right there. Um, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a lovely big window that I can look out. Yes, that is actually grass out there and I've actually seen a couple of robins. So spring is here. Um, it was, the sun was shining yesterday. It's raining right now, but I'm hoping it will get a little nicer out. Um, so I'm really looking forward to diving in and messing up my work table again and getting back on track with some of my journals. So um, the next video I'm going to create, I'm going to go through some of my favorite tools that I use. So I'll, I'll talk about my cutter and some of the tools that I have in my little Lazy Susan here and some of the boards that I have on the side. Things that I just use every day and a lot of. Um, I'm just going to maybe show you some of those and tell you where I purchased them or why I use them and how I use them. So that will be another video coming out real soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you real soon.